Hey guys, welcome to Tech Learnings. In our last video, we learned about JVM. Like, what is JVM? What is the role of JVM? What is the internal architecture of JVM? How it works actually? So, all these facts we learned or we explored in our last video, in our last article as well on Tech Learnings. Now, today's uh, video is in continuation to that. That was part one. Today is part two that uh, we are going to explore the class loaders which is a component within jpm and plays a very important role okay so i have already uh, published in the article related to the theoretical part of class loader i will request you to go through that because it will help you understand this video better now continuing uh, with class loaders that uh, there are different class loaders that are given to us for example application class loader extension class loader bootstrap class loader so let's see how can we get the reference of uh, application class loader in our java code okay so let's say i want to get the reference for my own class which is hello dot class so it gives me the class class objects reference now how uh, this class class object comes into picture i will again request you to go through the article and read the theory so there is a method called get class loader so it returns us the application class loaders reference which is corresponding to this hello dot class let's try to run it cool so we get the reference of application class loader out here and since the implementation is provided by java that is why we are able to get this class reference so it is a java provided class okay now uh, if we want to get the reference of extension class loader then there is another api which is get parent so get class loader we know that uh, extension class loader is the parent of uh, application class loader so we should get the reference of extension class loader cool so this is the reference of extension class loader now uh, what if we want to get the reference of bootstrap class loader no we can't get that because reason is we uh, because the implementation of bootstrap loader is not provided by java it is native implementation in c c plus plus okay so we know now so far how to get the reference of bootstrap class loader or extension class loader in our own java code now let's try to load a class dynamically with the help of uh, java code now i have here if you have uh, read jdbc then you pro you are probably aware of this class dot for name statement which is uh, they are used to load the driver class and uh, this class dot for name class class object uh, method for name it takes the name of the class that you want to load or the name of binary also you can say so let's say i want to load my own class and in return it gives us the class class object okay and let's try let's say we want to print this reference cool and uh, another thing here is that this class dot for name throws a checked exception which is class not found exception and i have already added that throws close out here okay either you put a try catch or you add a throws and this class is in java dot lang sub package so we do not need any import statement also okay so let's try to load this class with the help of class dot for name and we are trying to print the reference of this class class object cool so this is uh, extension class loader and this is what is printed through class class object 
reference when we are trying to print now here is a question that when we are trying to load here this uh, we are trying to print here this reference we are getting the name of class at the rate and then hash code but here we are getting class hello why why are means why class hello why not the name of class at the rate and hex code it's a question to you uh, let me know through your comments what is the answer we'll uh, I'll provide you the answer in next class or in next uh, demonstration but it's a question for you okay so now uh, we want to load this class via application class loader by default it is using application class loader but we can also specify here so this method is overloaded for name method whether you want the class to be initialized or not let's say I you not want then it third argument is uh, the reference of class loader let's say i copy this i want to load this class with the help of extension class loader and uh, let's see oops it uh, threw an exception which is class not found exception so our extension class loader could not load this class and uh, if you have uh, gone through the theory you are uh, probably aware of the reason as well but let me tell you again that uh, this extension class loader loads the class from uh, your ext directory jre lib ext directory or if you have specified the system property java ext dirs which we have not so it is not able to locate this class hello and uh, it said class not found exception cool now uh, let's try with application loader now before before moving further here are few more things class dot for name invoked the method load class there is a class loader class given to us the first method which gets invoked is load class then load class invokes the method of url class loader which is find class so load class asks the find class to get the class and find class could not find the class that is why class not found exception came okay now what if the class is found then there is another method called define class in class loader so what define class do is uh, create the class class object reference create the class class object so so the hierarchy is like class uh, load class invokes find class find class invokes define class so define class is the one where this class class object is getting created okay so load the class via application loader so this time it got loaded successfully so we now know how can we load the class with the help of either application class loader or system class loader or extension class loader system and application both are same one last thing we can also try this because this load class method is of class loader class we can also try to invoke that method directly okay or let's see will it work yes it does so this also confirms that load class method is uh, uh, the one which is getting invoked and we can also see from here as well so for name also internally used this method and we can also use it directly as well cool so this is how uh, we can we i just quickly recap what we saw one is how can you get the reference of uh, application class loader second how can you get the reference of extension class loader third what is a class not found exception and how does it occur fourth how to load a class dynamically in java with the help of class dot for name then we uh, we explored this class dot for name api because the method is overloaded so we saw how can we pass the class loaders reference out there then six we 
did try to explore we did try to load the class with the help of both extension class loader as well as the application class loader and the last thing we also saw how can we load the class by directly invoking the load class api okay so all these things i hope are clear to you let me know through your comments what uh, if you have any doubts and there's one question also which uh, is unanswered and uh, which i have uh, asked you guys to let me know the answer that when we try to print this class class object reference here we got class hello uh, which is uh, like different from which what we usually get the name of class at the rate and hex code so why why does it print class hello not that so let me know the answer to that as well okay so this is uh, that's it for today i hope uh, you got the points okay so do read about the theory part as well thank you for watching thank you for watching the video again and uh, take care bye